Hello Sagittarius! Welcome to your May monthly reading. We're going to take a look at the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Sagittarius. It's a general reading. We're going to look at love, career, family, whatever comes through this reading. I will relate my messages that I receive, my visions, my hearing, uh, whatever messages I'm feeling for you, and we'll pull it through in the cards. So welcome to the month of May. This is a beautiful season right now where a lot of us, um, and myself included, like I had to take a little bit of a break last week. I just, I had to take the week off. I was drained. And that's what I feel is going on for a lot of zodiac signs, and especially you guys. I feel that you've been through a lot. Now, you might be feeling a little bit of heightened energy as I am doing this reading, but by the time May 1st rolls around, because I'm recording this in April, so by the time May 1st comes rolling around, it is definitely a time for you to take action and then take a break, take a rest, take your vacation, take some time off, even if it's just for the weekend, but really focus on staying calm, centered, and grounded. So let's take a look at you. We're going to look at whoever you're dealing with, and we're going to look at career, all of that, and we'll bring love in at the end. For those of you interested, I am offering a video, love recording video is on sale. I have a couple other ones. You can look in the drop box below on my website. So we have the Ace of Wands, and this is you, my dear, this is you. This is that brand new path that you've been looking for, an opening, a gateway opening for you to start a new endeavor. Now, you're being advised to do a lot of research when it comes to whatever this opportunity or even person is, you must do your research. So start getting online, researching everything about it, because this is part of your spiritual, your life purpose, and your soul purpose, where you're taking this um, monumental leap, Sag, into something brand new. And it's going to be really invigorating. It's excitement. It's travel. It's adventurous. It's sensual. It's sexuality. It's meeting somebody who may be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual, or you're already with them. And this person is going to hold a lot of relevance in your life. So let's take a look at you a little bit deeper, and then we'll bring out whoever you're dealing with. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. I am making changes to my channel. Please subscribe and you will see some really fun things. I have to do it different. I do the tarot for you because you guys like it, but we're bringing in some other new stuff. We're going to play some games <clears throat> through the, the uh, posting, through the community section, all kinds of things. So please subscribe and you will enjoy it. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is a very slow-moving energy. This may be a person that you've been dealing with that has gone through a lot. And for some of you, I feel this is a legal situation. It has to do with legal documents. It doesn't mean it's a divorce, although it could be. For those of you, it's legal documentation in whatever you're doing. But with this documentation comes an apology and comes a payout, all right, for some of you. The payout may be um, relocating and the reward is in the ground. The reward is going to come to you by being in the energy vibration of where you're supposed to be. For others of you, this is absolutely money that you've been waiting on, a legal document that has taken a really long time to come. And you've been waiting. Yeah, you've got the Queen of Swords. All right. So this may have been a legal battle, but it definitely has to do with a Queen of Swords, male or female, because this is a general reading. Whatever's going on around you, there is something that has taken way far too long, but you have a decision to make. And I feel the final decision is coming in the month of May. Are you going to take this opportunity? Are you going to move? Are you going to take the job? Are you going to start that business? Remember, whatever this is, it's going to feel like it's in your soul, like you known forever this was the direction you were supposed to go. For some of you, I feel this is actually a... Um, <laughs> I think I can't say that, what they told me to say. Um, this is a, a, a breaking point for you 
to break out of whatever you're dealing with. So if you've been in a situation like a legal battle that's taken forever, that is going to come to an end in the month of May. If But you have to make a decision. Like they may offer you something, all right? This may be a job offering you something. Whatever this Queen of Swords is offering you, you do this uh, investigation. You further, you seek further, they said further seeking. You seek further information you're going to know exactly what the right decision is for you and it is going to be a wonderful wonderful payoff for you you see with this knight of pentacles it is slow but it is promising it is security it is grounded energy it's a grounded offer and some of you may have two different situations coming in even if it's people. So let's see whoever or whatever you're dealing with. We'll look at couples and then singles at the end. Remember, each Friday I do post love readings for you guys where I do a general and then uh, the extended is by Zodiac Sign in my membership. And as we roll into uh, the end of June, I'll be reducing my opportunity to work with me one-on-one -on -one, and I'm focusing more right here on YouTube. So we have the Queen of Swords. You're definitely dealing with a, a uh, possibly an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But whoever this person is, they are representing the Queen of Swords. This is a person with great intellect and absolute unbelievable knowledge that can lead you into this new beginning. This is an incredible moment for you to make a head over heart decision when it comes to this. That means using your divine masculine, which is logic, your divine feminine, which is emotions, and coming to a centering to make the right decision for you. Because this is an offer that you're going to like. This is an offer with the eight of wands, back and forth communication. This is relocation, travel. This is going to be an exciting opportunity for you guys, Sag. So it's going to be really, really beautiful. Wanted to make sure I, I, I had the right zodiac sign. Now, when it comes to a, a family member, I feel some of you are making a decision to sever ties with a family situation. It may be uh, moving and your child is going to move out on their own or you're leaving and saying, look, you're on your own, baby. I'm going to go live my life as a grown up. But I feel this communication is still going to be there. There isn't a sever sever. It's just a separation where you're going to live your own life and start feeling a sense of, of freedom, a, a lighter, more vibrant you. You're going to look better. You're going to feel better. By the end of May, you're going to be almost, I'm not going to say transformed, but you are definitely going to look different. You're going to feel different. You're going to feel on a higher vibration. And that vibration is going to cast outward to others where they are going to recognize it and say, whoa, what's going on with you, Sag? So it's a very, very positive energy. Now, I also feel uh, Pisces is attached to this reading as well as Capricorn is attached to this reading. Scorpio. And we also have, let me see if there's anybody here, Virgo, Can Capricorn, and Taurus. Um, but air is very strong. So there's going to be a lot of communication, positive back and forth communication. So let's take a look at our love. We're going to look at couples and, uh, first, and then we'll move into singles. And again, if you subscribe to the channel, I'm making all kinds of changes that'll be super fun. Um, starting right here in this week that these videos are being posted. We have the Four of Wands, which has everything to do with relationships. Whoever you're in a relationship right now is starting to feel a little bit better. So if this is somebody around you um, that you are in the same household, underneath the same roof, you will see vitality coming back to them. They might even be starting to take yoga, okay, actual yoga um, and doing feng shui, <laughs> okay. So they may be going in a different route and by watching them or you're doing it, but it's going to help the two of you in your relationship. You see, it's going to help heal the relationship. The sun card, this could represent a Leo most definitely, 
but it's all about your inner child being set free. And when our inner child is set free, we can start moving in or actually grabbing on to our life and soul purpose. We must be doing both in order for us to grow. Okay, life purpose is awesome, soul purpose is awesome, but you gotta combine both the universal elements and the earthly elements together to create that prosperity. And that is in the, uh, if you look in the drop box below, that's what my book is about. So micro vibes is down there. This is that moment where the relationship can be restored, healed and rejuvenated. And I don't feel that you're necessarily going to get a divorce for those of you who have been in that process. I feel that it has been started and something's going to come around right around uh, the 13th of May. May 1, 3, 13 is a time for you to remember that date is going to be very key for some of you. That might be when this new opportunity pops right in or you grab the opportunity on that day. You and your partner are actually going to move into a different level. And we have the Emperor card. Okay, so it definitely could be an Aries sign for some of you. But with this is a person who's super stubborn. However, they're filled with wisdom. This is a person who knows how to build a relationship, who even knows how to heal a relationship if they want to. But this stubbornness can actually pull some um, discord between the two of you. I, this person, whoever you're dealing with in this relationship, male or female, they, they have a tendency to take ownership ownership so that could be taking your ideas and presenting it to everybody as their own okay like stealing your ideas from their partner and yes people do that all the time um but i feel that they're taking like taking the spotlight away from you and not necessarily even knowing it these are actually very beautiful cards for those of you who are in a relationship that may have been feeling a little run down this rejuvenation and that's what Taurus season is about is rejuvenating the energy that you've been dealing with because you have the card of victory this person wants a victory with you and they will get it if you make that decision but again that will be up to you because in the very beginning we're talking about you making a decision Sag and that choice is going to hold a lot of relevance in what comes with an offer with an apology and they're definitely going to say the words i love you and i do feel that some of you are dealing with a person who doesn't say it very much okay i said it to you when i married you i don't need to <laughs> i said it when we met i don't need to say it all the time but they're going to see it a little bit differently as we approach that 13th of may so and that just means the rest of the month is going to be so, so much better. Back and forth, positive communication. And the Eight of Wands is talking about the arrows. Cupid's arrows of love is going to trigger you. So one second on our beautiful uh, singles. But right now, it's love yourself first. When we love ourselves first, that's when true love comes in. That's when we can heal situations. But if we have self-loathe, if we don't see ourselves in a positive way, it can completely alter the dynamics of the relationship. Love yourself first. It's about respect and devotion to you. And that is what makes you so beautiful to your partner. So let's take a look at those of you who are a single. And remember, love story readings are available at my website in the drop box below. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is you, all right? By the 13th of May, if you're feeling run down now, tourist season is here, Satch. So this is about getting calm. Please read my blog on my website, Ascending Souls Journey. But this is you being you. This is sensual, sexual, feeling confident, and being so self-assured. This love yourself first this card is not for you. Look what you've overcome. You have the five of swords. This has been a lot for you to work on when it comes to relationships in general. A lot for you to regain your empowerment. And that's what I feel the 13th of May is really about for you guys, where you're going to regain that and you're going to draw in somebody very, very 
very positive. You're going to be like soulmates, like the king and queen of, of, um, of wands, <laughs> of wands. So you guys, you've got somebody amazing. They're going to mesmerize you getting ready to come in. This is a person I'm telling you, you're going to feel very, very close to them. And you may have had a lot of doubt that this is ever going to happen. You may be one of those people that believe that soul connections aren't real, and they truly are real. Our version of what we call the soul connection can be altered, and it can be altered just by what we watch here on YouTube, out in society, the way our family tells us. Whatever our thoughts are, it was causing a lot of chaos inside of you. But now that you are right on track, you gained the wisdom and the knowledge for you to be able to say, you know, I get it now. It has everything to do with you and you are going to shine. And look, we have the card of judgment. So this is letting go of everything, reconciling in your mind. Okay, not necessarily with a person. But when you do this, that's when the real love comes in. Now, I won't kid you. Some of you, you are in love with a person and that person is going to return. But I feel for most of you, this is somebody brand new. This is reconciling and understanding the divine masculine and feminine within you, the logic and the emotions. If we are too logical, we have no love, no emotions, then that's what we bring in. Ugh. You know, if we are too love and no logic, then we bring in a lot of over feelings, overly emotion, and that can be ick as well. So this is this moment for you through this Taurus season to really get grounded, regain your confidence, and you've got somebody coming in. And you are going to feel like you've known this person forever. They're going to be, I hear the back of your hand. You're going to know them like the back of your hand. Okay, that's what I just heard. So let's see what they want you to know. Flirt. There you go. The Queen of Wands, which is you, Sag. This is about you feeling vibrant again and resting and just rejuvenating. Uh, read my blog. It will help you get some ideas on how to do that. Um, but this is you getting your flirt on. When you flirt with this new person coming in, and I've already mentioned a lot of names in the beginning of this reading, uh, Zodiac signs, I do feel Virgo is very much attached to this energy, Virgo. Now that may be you dating and leading to a really serious relationship by the season of Virgo. You may have even met this person in last Virgo season and now they're coming back. Not that you dated them, but you may have already known them in uh, uh, a little while ago. So you guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing May. Thank you for watching. Much love.